Good day, welcome to King Wilbur's Everything. Today we're taking a look at installing VNC on the ASUS Tinkerboard. A couple of reasons you might want to do this. Um, you might want to do some remote admin or you might want to uh, uh, put the desktop back to a thin client. I'm guessing most people are going to want to do it uh, just to do some administrative stuff. So um, instead of having to go up to your Tinkerboard, say it's connected to a TV or it's not on a desk or it's just uh, it's headless, uh, that's where this is going to come in really handy. So we're going to go through that procedure. It's pretty simple, but there is a catch with uh, installing it on, on the ticker board. Uh, that some things don't always get installed, and that's what we're going to show you here. So let's go and get on the ticker board. And we're there. And so what we first thing we want to do is we want to get VNC installed. So let's go in the Synaptic Package Manager. And we're in. And there she goes. So we're going to do a search. search and we're going to search for VNC and it's thinking and thinking and there you go so you can kind of pick you see there's a bunch of different ones as you scroll through here but we're going to go for type VNC server and see if I were install it it's green how uh, basically what you do you right click on it and you say um, mark for installation and then you go up and say apply and then it'll install for you and it's all good and great the only thing is it doesn't work and the reason it doesn't work, it's missing some fonts. And you'll see here, I, I did a dump from the uh, the console that I was using when I initially installed it. And you kind of see, that you do a couple things um, when you first install it. The window a little bigger. Uh, to start it, you type VNC server. And the first thing it's going to ask you to do is set a password. You need a password to connect to the PC. Uh, so you do it twice, once, and then to verify it. And then it'll ask you, do you want to... Uh, have like a uh, view only password so if you don't want to do any changes you just want to have it displayed back we don't want that um, and if you look down a little bit farther you'll see it's saying hey I'm missing some fonts and then it fails it's like oh man uh, but the main thing is it's a fatal server error and cannot open default font fixed and then down below there's uh, some 100 dpi ones missing uh, those kind of thing but the main thing we're looking for is the xfonts-base and they are not installed with VNC server. you think they put that in there with them uh, at least to make it work but it is not. So let's let's install that. So we're going to search for and oh, let's get this bad boy xfonts-base and that's what we're missing so we need we need those fonts. So copy it we're going to paste it into get that out of the way the package manager and do a search come on baby oh she's looking there she is and see how I installed it uh, so it's the same procedure mark for installation and apply and those fonts will be there and now the VNC server will actually work you would think they'd create one that would put it in with it but I don't know for some reason that's not nothing's easy but now that you have that in there uh, we should be able to launch it and connect to it remotely So let's go in the terminal and we'll verify that VNC is running. And I like to do uh, ps-ef grep and pipe it or pipe and grep it to more. Uh, ps-ef pipe grep and VNC. And you can kind of see uh, the process is running. So that's a good sign. And I'm kind of curious what uh, port we're using. Uh, VNC uses a 50, port 5800, 5801, 5900, 5901. And this guy is using port 5901. You can define this when you when you launch uh, a VNC server with all the command switches and stuff like that. But I just said, hey, VNC server, and let it pick its port. But we need to know that so when we go to launch it. And you'll see here in a second when we bring up, and we're going to use, um, uh, for the client, we're going to use just the tight VNC uh, viewer. So that's a separate product. So you put on your Apple Mac, your, your Windows PC, your Linux PC. And here, here's basically the client. Uh, we're going to put in our remote host, which is the IP address of the Tinkerboard, colon, and that'll be the port number. So we're going to use 5901, but if it's a different port number, you can define it whatever you want or use one of the default ones. And we're using port 5901. And there's some other options. We're not going to change any of that stuff. We're going to say, uh, so you can change like screen size, all kind of crazy stuff. We just want simple, make it work. We'll click on Mr. Connect. And now you get the ask for your password. So that's that password that we we set uh, when we first configured VNC server. So we did 
VNC server, and then ask for a password, and then a second password. That's what this is looking for. So what we'll do is we'll type that in. And so just, you know, want to make, if you did something wacky or special, remember, that's the password you put in. And we'll say OK. And you're in. So that, that's basically how you install VNC server on the Tinkerboard. Not easy, but it is easy. So if I can do it, you can do it. Follow the instructions if you have any problems. If not, leave some comments so that I can try to help you. Anyway, have a wonderful day.